Hey, what's up guys? My name's Cloda and welcome back to the Thoman Bedroom Producers channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk you through Serato Studio. I think Serato Studio is one of the best DAWs for beginners and there's loads of different features in it that I think can also benefit any producer of any level as well. So let's jump straight into it and I'll show you how to make a beat in Serato Studio. When you open every session, there's a drum kit that's preloaded by Serato. If you're used to working with other DAWs, this is kind of like your MIDI editor. This here is like your sampler, so this drum kit that's automatically loaded in, you can play on your MIDI keyboard like. So then in this section, you can sort of delve into it deeper. You can change the key, you can change the tempo. So this is where you sort of edit your samples. And this bit down below is where you just search for everything that you need. So you've got audio samples here. You've got drum kits, FX, instruments, plugins, patterns, and then access to your own files as well. So you can load in your own sample packs and stuff like that. So if you just come down here to audio samples, these are all the Serato packs that I have downloaded. And you can see here that they're all organized by BPM and key. And this also applies to any other samples you load in. It will automatically detect the BPM and the key, which is really useful if you're not 100% sure on your music theory and you're not really sure how to find out the key and the BPM of different samples. So first things first, I'm actually gonna look through some of the samples. So you just click down on the left and they're all loaded up here. That's a pretty cool sample. So I'm just gonna load in that magical ride sample. So you just drag it in here and you can see the key automatically changed to D sharp minor, which is the key of the sample. If you play it on your keyboard, you can play it on either the pads or just the keys. So it's playing quickly because our BPM is still set at 120. So I'm gonna bring it down to sort of 89. So as soon as you drag the sample into the editor, you can see that there's loads of different pads here and these are preset slices that Serato Studio does for you. So you can keep them if you want to, but if you don't, you can select all and then the little bin to delete them. And then if you change the setting up in this left hand corner from hold to play setting, if you click on that, then basically as soon as you start the sample, every time you hit a key, it will set a slicer for you. So then you have control over the slices that you're making, if that's what you want, or if you are a beginner and not really sure where to slice the samples, you can use that find samples button here and it will do it automatically for you. I might actually have a play through the samples that they've found for me. And if you don't like exactly where that's hitting, so for example that, I'd like that to be a bit earlier, you can go over and either zoom in on your mouse pad or you can press the plus button and then just drag it. So now that is, so I'm just gonna play in a pattern. Cool, so I'm gonna change that a little bit. And if you wanna repeat just one of the, or two of the bars, there's that little button where it says three to four, you can just click on that. I'm gonna do a repeat of that as well. I think that could be nice to finish off the phrase actually. So for now, that's a four bar phrase and let's get some drums in it. We can either go back to where they had the studio kit, look through some of the drum kits that they have. So I'm just gonna drag that in. What you can do is if you're not very good at putting in drum patterns or a complete beginner, if you click this drop down menu, you can choose which genre that you're making. And then if you click the actual name of it, it auto fills you a pattern, so. <laughs> Quite like that actually. You might need to swing it a bit just to get it because the sample's not completely on beat. So if you swing this, I reckon. I think that actually could fit pretty well. I think I actually might simplify this even further. So like a kick at the end there. I 
might change a couple of the sounds. I'm not a massive fan of the hi-hat. So if you do want to replace any of the sounds in the kits that they have, you basically find the sound you want to replace. So mine's the hat. You right click it, delete Q, and then you drag in the sound that you want. And then it just loads straight in. And I might replace the snare as well, actually. So I'm just going to drag that into the snare. So, and you can lower the volume for any particular hit if you click on it. And then the left hand side of this mixer is for the individual sounds. And then the right hand side is for the whole drum kit. So I'm just going to lower that snare a bit. I might add a sort of ghost snare as well. And if you want to change the velocities, you hit command and drag it down. I might also layer the kick with the other kick sound. So drums and a sample sound like this. So I'm really liking the sound of that. And if you click here into song view, you set yourself up in scenes. So these, this now says intro. But if you wanted to basically copy exactly those four bars into the next section, you just click copy. For the intro, just wanted the sample on its own. You could uh, clear that and just have the intro as. You can add like plugins and things that you use in other DAWs. So you literally just drag it on and it will pop up. Another really cool feature is the stems. So if you look up here and you see like the microphone, piano and all of that. So this basically gives you the ability to isolate different parts of the sample on its own. So say I wanted to make my own bass line and didn't want to use the bass line from the sample chop, click off bass. That gives me the room to write my own bass line in, which is really cool. To me, this is the, the future. It's crazy. Just going to add instrument down here. Maybe the mob bass. For those who aren't very confident in music theory, uh, there's a feature on here, which is play and key. Any of the keys that I'm playing on my keyboard will be in the key of D sharp minor because that's the key of the sample. So let's record in a bass line. I played some of them in different velocities, so they didn't come out all the same. But if you right click, click select all, and then right click again and reset note velocity, they'll all be set to the same. That one's a So for the introduction, you might want to filter in the sample. What you can do is you click the little robot man up there and click filter. Set one point there, the other point there. I think for kind of like a B section, I'm just going to let that very first play out. So I've added another scene and literally just click number one, drag it out for four bars. But not to make it boring, I might actually just add a completely different drum break. And I think we'll, we'll need to change that bass line for this section. For this section where there's just the sample playing and no bass, I'm going to change up the drums a little bit. And the beat sounds like this.
that's how quickly you can get ideas down in Serato. I just think it's a really good tool, especially for those who are just starting out with music. I mean, I use it quite a lot. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever used it before or if you're thinking of using it and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Peace.